Easy. <laughs> Anybody? No? Yeah. How many of you thought yesterday was easy? <laughs> Not too many. How many of you have had a great time and a lot of fun anyway? Yes. That's what I'm talking about. I'll tell you a secret. If it were easy, anybody could do it. When it's easy, people like you get bored. When it's hard is when it starts to get interesting. And when it's really hard, we need people like you to figure it out. But you can't do it by yourself. Hard work isn't enough. How many of you are here today because you designed, fabricated, built, tested, drove, marketed, fundraised, recruited, all by yourself? Nobody? How many of you are here today because you had fantastic teams around you and you did it all together? That's right. If you've got smart people that work hard and know how to work together, you are unstoppable. And I believe that you can do anything you put your mind to it, and it's people like you working hard on teams together that will change this world and make it a better place. So, let's get to it. First, power up. Now I would like to bring out the planning committee to uh, announce the Outstanding Volunteer Award. Thank you for your patience. All right, who's got the script? All right, so the Outstanding Volunteer of the Year, or out, the Outstanding Volunteer of the District Award goes to a volunteer who has put in a lot of work at this specific event um, to make sure that this program can take place. And so uh, typically, during the district model, we have a Volunteer of the Year award that we announce at our state championship that goes to a key volunteer. But a lot of times we can't recognize the volunteers who are on the ground, like our field reset crews, our AV teams, um, our uh, pit admin groups, things like that, um, for their hard work and making sure that this program runs smoothly. So today, we'd like to thank one of the volunteers that has made this program and this event possible. They've interacted with a number of teams at our event in a very significant way. Um, we have a volunteer who has stepped up. They have worked our machine shop. They stayed late yesterday to clean the machine shop, um, where it was probably cleaner than when it started here at this event. Um, and they're also working spare parts for us today. Um, and we'd like to honor Wade Haycox um, for stepping up. His team's not even here this weekend, um, but he showed up to help us out. Now, please welcome to the field two of our championship Woody Flowers Award winners today to introduce our Woody Flowers finalist award nominees, Andy Baker from 3940 and Chris Fultz from 234. 
All right. Good morning, everybody. So if, if you've been to a few of these events through the years, you have probably heard a very similar Woody Flowers Award presentation just about every time. And so this year, uh, the Woody Flowers Championship Award winners decided to change that up a little bit, to do something different. And week one and two, we focused on Dr. Murphy. Week three and four, we're focusing on Woody Flowers. And week five and six, we'll focus a little bit on some of the winners of this award. So trying to do something a little bit different each time. So you've all heard before, the Woody Flowers Award celebrates effective communication in the art and science of engineering and design. What you may not have heard is that Woody Flowers, the namesake of this award, was the creator of the original student robotics design competition sometime during the 1970s, where students in MIT's 2.70 course worked to strategize, design, build, and then compete with robots. Now, four decades later, we can thank Woody for being the true pioneer in something that has and will continue to change the world. When Dr. William Murphy founded the Woody Flowers Award in 1996, he sought to celebrate the one mentor who, in the concisely communicated words of students, demonstrates the leadership, ethical behavior, and communication skills exemplified by Woody. At each regional event and each district championship, one mentor will receive the Woody Flowers Finalist Award. Then at the championship in Houston and Detroit, one mentor will be selected from the present semifinalist and re-nominated finalist to receive the 2018 Woody Flowers Award. At district events, we want to recognize every mentor who has been nominated. This in itself is a great honor and a great way for students to say thank you to their mentors in a very memorial and lasting way. So we would like to announce the people who were nominated for this event, and when we announce your names in a minute, we'd like for you to stand in the bleachers where you are. To help us with this, however, we would like to invite our previous Woody Flowers finalist award winners that are here to join us on the field. And we will pass the mic. We'd like to introduce yourself, your team, and if you remember where you received your Woody Flowers Finalist Award. Allison Phelps, St. Louis. Chris Noble, Indiana State Championships. Bill Whiteman, Peachtree, Georgia. Uh, Jim Langfell, uh, 2011 in Wisconsin. Jeff Smith, Indiana State Championship. Kevin Kelly, uh, Smoky Mountain Regional. Mike Taylor, Purdue Boilermaker Regional. Alan Anderson, the first Indiana State Championship. Excellent, thank you guys and lady. So, you all, many, many of you, more than half the teams here in the state have nominated your favorite mentor for this year's nomination for your team's Woody Flowers Finalist Award winner. So what I want you to do, and this is very specific instructions, when I read your name, the nominator stand, the nominate, nominatee, the person who was nominated, they stand up and the rest of the team yells and screams like crazy. Got it? Okay. T-135, Allison Adams. She didn't want to stand up, okay. Team 234, Neil Brenneman. <laughs> Team 829, Scott Miller. That's not Scott, but okay, all right. <laughs> Team 868, Alex Riker. <laughs> Team 1018, Peter Argo. They, they got it right, good job, okay. <laughs> T-1018, 
Team 1024, Dan Phelps. <laughs> Dan's somewhere. I think he's over there. Okay, w wave, Dan. Okay, yeah, thank you. Team 1720, Mike Cook. Team 1741, Rachel Miller. Team 1747, Doug Clumpy. There he is. Team 2197, Frank Homer. Team 3487, Ed Schmidt. Team 3940, Nick Lawrence. Team 4926, Rick Lewis. Um, sorry. Team 5188, Taylor Fry. There's a lot of Taylors up there. Awesome. Good job. Okay, team 6451, Philip Roberts. Nice picture. Team 6498, Lyle Oxley. And team 6956, Danny Blau. Thank you all, have a wonderful day. So, our schedule for the rest of the day, we're gonna run about 20 more qualification matches. Once we're done with those, we'll have our alliance selection leading into our playoff rounds. We'll intersperse those a little bit with awards for the remainder of our day. So, please rise for the national anthem. Without further ado, teams in the next match, come power on your robots. Let's get ready for more power up. Everybody get up, it's time to slam now. We got the real jam going down. Welcome to the space jam. Space jam. Here's your chance. 